Hello everyone, I am Dr. Sanket Gupta from AKG Zoviums and today I would like to talk about a very rare genetic disorder called Epidermolysis bullosa, a disease, a genetic disease that we at AKG Zoviums have been carrying out our efforts in research. It is a disease where, you know, uh, usually it is seen in children uh, at the time of birth itself. Epidermolysis bullosa is a combination of genetic disorders where you know there are uh, blistering of the skin and breaking of the skin at the slightest of injuries. It is of four types basically the simplex type, the junctional type, the dystrophic type and the hemidesmosomal type. See uh, till now there hasn't been any particular reason why uh, epidermolysis bullosa occurs in young borns and newly born kids but it has been seen a genetic mutation specially uh, occurs when there is you know marriage between uh, relatives consanguine marriages which we call what happens is there occurs a genetic mutation leading in uh, to formation of this uh, type of disorder whenever there is slightest of injury um, be, be it by rubbing be it by simple scratching or even a slight touch uh, uh, through a hard surface it can cause lysis or breakage of that skin or uh, formation of a uh, f you know fluid filled bulla uh, in severe cases the condition can even be deadly can cause death of the child and the disease happens and travels in children from their parents usually uh, be it dominant type or be it recessive type the recessive type is even more harmful and more severe uh, as it is seen so coming down to how to manage such cases it is extremely important to manage and take care of the blistering formation to not let the superseded uh, infection from the bacteria hamper it more and uh, debilitate the immunity of the child so uh, here is it has a very important tip for all the parents and their children who are suffering from epidermolysis bullosa that uh, cover the area of the blister and the wound very well so that with very soft and uh, you know soft gauze piece uh, usually a paraffin gauze can be used uh, which does not uh, you know instead of uh, adhering to the skin does not taper the skin off it is very important while uh, bandaging the child that we do not uh, we do not use any such taping that is harsh on the skin it should be extremely soft should be extremely gentle and in a very polite manner you should be able to do that that prevents further blistering not just further blistering it prevents superseded infections which in fact uh, would uh, protect the immunity of a child so it is extremely important uh, even while homeopathically when we treat such patients we uh, we have a very good medicine called calendula mother tincture which we give for external wash that not only helps in healing those wounds but also acts as an antiseptic as a as a disinfectant and helps in preventing further blistering and further uh, complications in the case coming down to homeopathic part of the treatment uh, though there has been no such cure as such uh, for the epidermolysis bullosa cases but we at AKG Zoviums have been able to provide good amount of relief, relief I would say with homeopathy it has been seen that the cases with severe blistering with severe uh, uh, even respiratory and uh, uh, other system involvement have been well taken care of with homeopathic medicines patients are still on medicines and uh, you know the the blistering reduces the frequency and the intensity of the disease reduces not all improve i would i would also say that not all improve but yes uh, definitely there is some very good hope for all the patients and the families Who's, who, who have kids with uh, this dreadful disorder. 
one very important aspect uh, that patients come to me with is uh, they want to see f firstly i mean if, if they've lost one of their child due to this disease they want to see how can they predict if whether their second child would have this or not for this uh, i would always uh, advise my patients to go for the genetic uh, coding and testing which is available in our country today to to find out whether uh, the parents are carrying those genes the whether one of the parent is carrying the gene or both the parent parents are carrying that uh, coding of the gene which later might cause epidermolysis bullosa in their offspring so trusting with uh, those investigating factors and trusting with homeopathy it is definitely possible to uh, you know curtail this disease and uh, give these kids a much much better life thank you